I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. The second coming of Christ. Some thought it was Gandhi, some thought it was Mother Teresa, who both lived by the words of Jesus Christ as well as anyone since Jesus Christ. Ah, but let me introduce you to American evangelical Christians. They think the second coming of Christ is this guy. <laughs> That's right. The six-time bankrupt criminal who screwed porn stars while his wife raised their newborn called Soldiers, Suckers, and Losers wants to date his daughter and tried to end the greatest democracy in history. You would never abuse power as retribution against anybody. Except for day one. They think that guy is Jesus 2.0. So, what does it take to be Jesus 2.0? Well, let's say Jesus 2.0 is a little edgier, okay? Grab him by the pussy. Number one, no abs at all. This Jesus was ripped and looked like a woke vegan marathon runner free climber who only ate organic kale. Jesus 2.0 is super different. He clogs his arteries with hamburgers and washes it down with Coca-Cola and cheesecake. Jesus 2.0 is a sturdy, type 2 diabetic Jesus. What does Jesus 2.0 believe? Well, it's a lot different from the real Jesus, who believed in not coveting your neighbor's wife. Not Jesus 2.0. He covets coveting like no one ever coveted. I did try and fuck her. She was married. I moved in her like a bitch. The real Jesus said, the alien who resides with you shall be to you as the citizen among you. You shall love the alien as yourself, for you were aliens in the land of Egypt. That's Leviticus 19.34. Jesus 2.0 said, the aliens are poisoning the blood of our nation, which is Hitler, also 1934. Jesus 2.0 also said about the stranger, they're, they're bringing, bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, crime they're rapists, rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. people. Because Jesus 2.0 has never actually met an immigrant unless they were hired illegally at his hotels. Jesus walked in and shut down the money changers in the temple. He also said, render unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's. And unto God, the things that are God's. Jesus 2.0 scammed the American government for 276 million in taxes and had so little contact with God, the only church he can get close to had to be boarded up while he held a Bible upside down, Satan style. God bless us all. That's why Jesus 2.0 is in court for cheating on his taxes. Caesar is pissed. The Bible and the real Jesus tell us to speak evil to no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle, and to show perfect courtesy towards all people. Ironically, that's from the book of Titus 3.2. I know, I was surprised myself. <laughs> Jesus 2.0 says, Knock, Knock the, the crap, crap out, out of them. Yes. Jesus 2.0 is very different. Just to be clear. If you think Trump was sent by God, if you think he's the second coming of Christ, then maybe your Bible was translated from the original Hebrew into dipshit. Because to think Trump, this bulbous, bankrupt, backwards, bumbling. The Continental Army took over the airport. Brutal bully. Like to punch him in the face. Blowhard is the same as Jesus Christ. Then all I can say is, Jesus Christ, you're dumber than he is. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Holy crap, how can you look at this guy who does nothing Christ-like? If anything, he's on the Satan fucking list of stuff to do. You say, yeah, that guy's kind of Jesus. -y. Hi everybody, Chris from Titus, Titus Podcast. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Uh, with me as always, the lovely Bombshell Ray. What's up, people? And the Highlander. There could be only one. When am I going to be lovely? <laughs> You're Aww. never going to be I'm never lovely. You and I, you Isn't and I. he lovely? <laughs> Isn't he wonderful? <laughs> you just pissed me Leave off. it in the comments, we people. All, I'm lovely, we damn it. We all <laughs> just locked into that instantly. Stevie Wonder is a god, you know? Um, I just saw this uh, Instagram post. I sent it to you, and it just, <laughs> it just says, I was at a Stevie Wonder concert in and there was a man on the front row holding a sign that said, I love you, Stevie. I think about that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I read that and I thought, what a great response. What a good, subtle joke. Think about that a lot. What, what, what about if he's like Daredevil lot. and he sees it and he's just like, yeah. <laughs> I see you. I love right, you too. All right, all right, hold up. I, I Daredevil explained to me exactly Daredevil's uh, superpowers that, he that he, he's blind, but he can still see. Listen. 
He has super razor, like ah, a bat, so, but he's not or, Batman. Or a dolphin. He just doesn't go, eh, eh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, got it. So I thought that. Daredevil has radar so he can actually see him. But how would you see on a flat piece of paper uh, the words unless you can see the depth of the Sharpie? There is a refractory uh, prism that comes from the bouncing of light. <laughs> when you do that voice, your brain starts to go, I'm searching for shit to sound smart. Um, big words, big words. <laughs> you were automotive. Yeah, I called him automotive, Dennis last night when we oh, were yeah. watching a movie and they said you are isn't he oh yeah and he goes i do not call me automotive dennis but what did you say what was that what were we watching, what were you watching? it's always something but um well, i know a couple all, nights car ago movies make me nuts now. a couple uh -huh. nights ago i said oh they wrecked a lamborghini and you said actually because see how the side post is how it's angled it's not slightly lamborghini. First of all, basically what happened is direct a lamborghini because about three hundred thousand dollars so what they did was they had someone pop a body for about 15 grand they put it on top of a volkswagen chassis they wrecked that and then put that in the scene after the lamborghini was taken out it's, it's a stunt car it's a double it's not really good car. but last night was a different one i forget you know, it had to do with the motor some shitty mo some shitty movies i've seen where they'll like they'll wreck like a like your gto like a beautiful gto right and it, it and then then they'll cut to, and it's a four door cutlass in the in the, in the wreck. So I'm like, that's a four door <laughs> with like, like caps. But, but you know, but non car people are like, ah, no one will ever notice. Uh -huh. And maybe most people don't. But I'm, but car the, like the Fast and Furious movies, I hate them with my, that, the passion I was bring that up. Yeah. uncontested. Uh, to quote Prince, I other than the horrific acting, uh, you know, it's funny they've all, they, they've else? become a, they've become they have become a cartoon. I think the first one was fine. The first one yeah. was the first one was really well. Although I saw how they did that the, 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 that Charger did a wheelie at the end. They had a giant hydraulic ram under the car that went woo, and they took it out in post like a toy. Yeah, yeah, they did it. Okay. So, so, but, but still, fine, whatever. That that movie, at least, and the terrible writing. That, that movie, yes, the, that movie. The, the, the cars act better. By the way, by the way, <laughs> yes, the writing is the writing of those movies. The cars that are not really again, those cars can, act better uh, as yes. the cars. And then they get the Oscar. You can't bitch because if you go, yeah, well, it's made ten billion dollars. All right, fuck. I guess I'm wrong. I but live my life a quarter mile, mile at a time. time. Oh. Do you remember Nerd Punk said on the podcast, "Well, I live my life a quarter pounder at a time." <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I, I couldn't, I, 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 that line is one of those things. And cause by the way, at one point you were the star of a movie and you just are like, I'm here. I can't believe I'm here. This is the first one with, with Vin Diesel. He had to be like, holy shit. I'm the star of this. I'm going to say whatever the fuck. Cause there's a point as an actor. I'll say whatever the fuck they want me to say. It's my first one. And he said it with such verve. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. That's the, that's how they say every line. It's all with these yeah. weird eyes Ludacris and eyebrows. Doesn't. Ludacris is pretty funny. Ludacris, can, you know, there's a couple people that are all right in the movie. But but I think they've accepted like that one movie where they, one of the Fast and Furious movies where they were in a, 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 a Pontiac Fiero <clears> in <throat> space. Do you remember this? <laughs> <laughs> where they turned it into a rocket ship yes. and they ended up like orbiting the moon. Uh, or, at this point. Or orbiting the moon. I'm like, <laughs> first of all, plenty of fire, but it's made out of a composite. It, it's basically, it's basically plastic. It would actually go into the atmosphere and would burn up. It would just fry. Fiber cash is. But also the structural, I mean, to, uh, like, I just, I'm like, what the fuck are you guys even doing at this point? Yes. And so. I, uh, there's a movie I'm working on right now called Loyal, and there's a, and I wrote a drag racing movie that has got uh, the script has been optioned right now, and so we're working on that. The one thing that's going to make everybody nuts is they're going to be like, no, no, I'm going to be like, no, no, no. <laughs> No, Tony, oh, like Tony yeah, Schumacher details, said he would be the yeah. tech on. Be like, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. No, yeah, yeah, they yeah. can't. You can't. Why? Because because first of all. We want to get the million drag racing fans, and we need to be accurate for those people. Yes. The the story on its own is going to hang, but we have to like. What I don't understand is like I, I don't know a car guy that goes, "I love the Fast and Furious movie." It's always some dipshit who put fucking uh, neon lights on a fucking Subaru. Yes, that guy's like, "Yeah, man, that movies those movies are awesome." Of course, you can jump a canyon where the cable hooks to the front suspension of a Charger and swing across the gorge with, that, in a Honda Civic oh, with a, with a spoiler. My, my my best one was when he jumped. He was in Dubai or they were in Dubai, whatever, and they jumped a like a, a million dollar whatever from one building out the window to the next building and landed through the other window exactly perfectly. This they, this speaks to how dumb there's fucking yeah. number eight of how popular it is and how ten. dumb is it? Oh, it's the ten. Two of you oh, have fuck. actually completely become Dennis's and forgotten that you're doing a podcast. Oh, no, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was going to segue. Okay, I was okay, going to segue. Sorry, go ahead. People will believe anything. 
Oh, that I was going to what we just good. talked about the Armageddon update. Right I just sat here and I, I thought like if I just Bibles let him go, happened. if I just let him go, let's see yeah, when they'll know. So you are almost there. Just how much I hate the Fast and Furious movies. This podcast would last two hours. Like every single one uh-huh. is such. But a- you don't really hate them because you were going to see like number nineteen or whatever I, it was I, in I the could, theater. No, you I took could. Jet. That see. was that was six or seven. That was before Paul Walker died. <laughs> that was seven when the acting was still really yeah, good. When it was still Oscar <laughs> level. When it was still Oscar caliber. <laughs> before it jumped the shark in no, a car. No, the second one we saw. The second one where they where they where, where again. This is when I started to go crazy. There's a scene He's where doing it. No, there's we'll a scene. Back. There's a scene where you, they, okay. So for, so Kevin I had over. A segue. By the way, year one, the company year one that makes all the classic car parts. They had built two cars for the second one, second or third one. And they had built a Camaro and they had built uh, like another another muscle car. And I was like, okay, I know Kevin. I know Kevin's crew built these two cars. I'm going to go see the movie. I took my son. He was little. We saw it. There's a scene at the end of it. There. It's, in a, it's in Miami. At the end of it, they jump a blue 69 Camaro from the land. I thought they jumped a shark. <laughs> it, it fl- no, they did that in the first movie. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it, it flies all the way across, like it's like a, like a long way in the ocean. Like a yes, car jump that make the Dukes of Hazard go. That's bullshit. Mm-hmm. They land it on a yacht. <laughs> they land it on a yacht and crash into it. And I remember going, and that's when I was, I was like, and then like parked since, into a spot. Just so you know, since then you were still in after the shark. No, to be clear, just so you know, I still have not. I still since that day, I have not watched beginning to end of a Fast and Furious movie. You know what it says? You, we people are hungry for a car movie. You need a. There should be every summer or every year. There should be a car movie, Corbett and there should summer. also be. A um, I don't know religious movie. That was a bad segue. I had a better one, and it got ruined. We're gonna get to it. So, by the way, guy, by the way, Mark Hamill and Corvette Summer with Annie Potts is like the is, is such a great car movie. It's such a great car movie. It's such a great car movie. It's such a summer. It was a summer B movie after Star Wars came out. I've talked to Mark Hamill about it. I texted him a couple times about it. I'm like, dude, would you just come on the podcast? And just talk about. It? Don't I don't want to. I, I don't want to hear. No, he say he he would never do it. <laughs> he said, who, who this? Yeah. I said, I, no, he actually said that. He's like, he followed when I was really political on on, on Twitter. Uh, now X and now ending. Uh, I I would he would I texted him back and forth a bunch of times and and I said, dude, I, I we weren't even men- we won't even mention Star Wars. Yeah, that, I think that would be that, the best. That podcast. has a lot of religious overtones. There's another segue. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, uh, so Trump won. So let, let's talk about what happened this weekend. So Trump won the primary in Ohio, Ohio, Iowa, Iowa, right? Iowa. Iowa. Four letters, same cut people, Lots same. Lots of vowels. A lot of cheese. So uh, I, they said it's the lowest turnout for a primary pretty much ever. Did, it, did I hear this right? 14% of all Republicans in that state turned up to vote for this? It was a very low turnout. It was low turnout. Considering how many voted last time and Okay, so that was my next question. Yeah, very low turnout. Very low turnout. And less bad weather. And then they said that and here's the here's this Robert the Armageddon update. Seventy five percent of people that consider themselves evangelical Christians voted for Trump. Seventy five percent. Now, um (laughs) it's like voting for Dahmer because you, you, you you say you're a chef. It's like you, 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 it's you like I don't quite understand mm-hmm. how anybody can ba- and you've been saying this for years. How do you consider yourself uh, a believer in Jesus or God, and then have the balls to vote for Trump? It's literally that right there. Should you, lightning should hit you and should burst into flames? We yeah. had dinner with our one of my very closest friends, uh, who is a pastor at Bel Air, actual an actual pastor who speaks for the congregation mm-hmm. yes. at Pre- Bel Air Presbyterian here, and um she makes me feel more sane, you know, uh-huh. because she also is very confused. She said last night, this was like revelation. She said the way the this mass of people are co- loudly proclaiming being evangelical Christians and then following this person mm-hmm. who is so clearly not a yeah. godlike person. He's neck who's deep in Satan. Everything <laughs> Satan does, he's neck deep. Porn stars, uh, 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 everything. I mean, okay. I, do you know the Ten Commandments? Because you've been talking about them all day. Do I know the Ten Commandments? Yes. Okay. You too, right? Here we go. I got a pocket Ten Commandment book. <laughs> he, Ray gave it to me he, for Christmas. He, car- <laughs> he carries it. I got my Ten Commandments T-shirt that I wear all the time. Okay. Yeah. Thou shalt not kill. Okay, that's one. Thou, thou shalt, shalt not, not murder. No, no, that's the same, okay. that's the same, that's the same one. <laughs> okay, uh, you guys are off thou to Thou shalt not worship any God before me. 
Okay. That uh, thou shall uh, not covet thy neighbor's wife. Okay. Thou shall not fart in an elevator. <laughs> that's five or six. It's mm -hmm. down the list a bit. Mm -hmm. But I guess that's trespassing, though. Thou shall not trespass. <laughs> that would be that would be that's trespassing. Other passing. That's that would be gas but, passing. But wouldn't 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 would, but wouldn't gassing and farting in an elevator go into the, thou shall not trespass? I think that I think that would be yeah. Or ass pass. That I could also it's qualify as bearing false witness against your neighbor. <laughs> bearing false witness against your neighbor. Okay. That would count. That would count. <laughs> what did you have? You for should dinner. not bear. By the way, it trumps not all of these. Was it me? <laughs> What's the rest of them? What's the rest of them? And then we'll go, I want to go through them all. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. Okay. Uh, you shall have no other gods before me. Okay, so they are literally, and this is what our pastor said last night. Uh, Kim said, she goes, or you said he's literally the golden calf. I said Joy Reid said right. that they, they interviewed people in Iowa, and one of the evangelical Christians said he is like King David, mm -hmm. and she's burst out laughing because she was a Sunday school teacher, and she <laughs> said she said he's actually what he's more what he more closely resembles is the golden calf, which was against the law to worship. Mm -hmm. Or to follow. And like do you remember that. when Moses came down and fucked their shit up? He, they're and like, I what are you guys doing? Golden calf, though. I was like, he is a fat gold cow. He really He's is. He's a golden toilet, is what he is, because it's <laughs> all just waste and shit. By the way, um, remember when Moses came down and he was like, I go away for three hours and this is what happens? <laughs> it would be like Jesus' disciples worshiping Pontius Pilate. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or even worse, worshiping Satan, going, you or, know, Jesus, yeah, we, we, through, yeah, we yeah. saw the list of the Satan thing, and you know what? Mm, he seems to have more fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But okay, so, so here, let wait, me just- I'll Do wanna, the first one again? No, okay. no other God before me. Okay. No other God before me. So they worship so Trump. They you, think- they're saying that Trump, this worst human being that we've pretty much seen in, in, in like famous in our country since Hitler, literally quotes Hitler, they worship him. They said, when I was reading an article in the New York Times and one of the Trump supporters they interviewed said that he's our David and our Goliath. Oh whoa, my whoa, God. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Can't be both. Can't, yo, whoa. <laughs> wow, they twist themselves up. <laughs> He is our, it's like. <laughs> he is our Mother Teresa and our Charles Manson. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, My what? brain just fried out. Yes, I same. saw you just I go. Was just like, like, <laughs> I gave you, I gave you this look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, 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 it was like, you, here. You just lobbed it over. Take it, take it. I know you'll come up with something. <laughs> because I was just reading this thing. Uh, I was looking for this story. Do you remember when he stood in front of the cameras and said, I don't know. I'm the, ch maybe I'm the chosen one. And remember that? Do you remember that <laughs> little worst, interview he did? the worst Matrix sequel ever. <laughs> uh, he Neo said Hijiro. that people love him like the second coming of God. He um, said this out loud. People in Iowa, uh, Trump, as of October 16th, 2020, said Jesus, he's more famous than Jesus Christ. Which, by the way, almost ended the Beatles. When August 21st, exactly. 2019, he said, I am the chosen one. Oh, my uh, gosh. A video Holy was shit. put out last week where uh, people were saying God made Donald Trump, that Donald Trump is the coming Messiah. Yeah, but he made it out of the shit that was on the side of the house that you throw <laughs> away, that you, never, you. <laughs> that you never configure to get to the dub. It just kind of stays behind the house so you don't notice it. And you're like, oh, let's make something out of that. Yeah, that's Unlike most humans, Trump is consistently never wrong, never asked for forgiveness, and never can never lose, okay? So- He's I lost every time. Think now, Except especially out of Iowa, we have a lot of videos, if you go search, of people saying he's- some sort of biblical figure yeah, or second coming. Uh, number two, you shall not make for yourself an idol. And the first thing I think of is that golden Trump statue at CPAC. The first thing they did. Yeah, they or built an the idol. Or the NFTs. They built a golden yes. idol. They literally did exactly what the yep. Bible says. Not, oh my God, the NFTs where he's, where he's, where he's got, they put him on, they put uh, his head on Rocky's body or, <laughs> or the guy who actually had bone spurs and got out of the military five times, uh, deferred five times literally had a picture of him in a flight uniform like he was a marine is there one of him as god there there do you know how, as well I but by the way do you understand how dumb you have to be to wrap your mind around donald trump with abs <laughs> <laughs> like you have to be a fucking moron and then to say oh by the way and this guy who fucked porn stars cheated on his taxes by the way a render unto caesar what is caesar's wow. uh uh what well if you search uh trump 
is God NFTs, there are a lot of hits. And on this site specifically, they show uh, the first NFT is called Walking with My Friend Jesus. And it's him in a suit with a red tie walking with Jesus <laughs> in his robes. Um, there's them sitting on a bench and talking. There is Trump standing over him while he herds sheep. Um, so yeah, there, the, and the titles are Donald Trump is God of that segment. Let's try of to NFTs. make, let's try to make this make sense. Cause it doesn't, you know, what, how, how do they I, justify this I at all? One. Vomited. I'm not kidding. My, my stomach just got really sick because I realized that if this is where we're going, what will happen is. You, you, look, look, most of the wars throughout history have been started because of religions. Like the current yeah. one in Israel right now is because certain people believe certain things. They believe their religion is 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 uh, that all Jews need to die. Now they don't say people; they're specifically saying anyone who believes this religion. That's what that's what Hamas is saying. Every war in history pretty much has been started over religious shit. What means that if these people really believe that this man is God, that means they will do anything mm -hmm. if he loses again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that all that tells me is we're in for a fucking a bad time in 2024, 2025. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Well, depending on your interpretation of that. So a lot of people, a lot of my family interprets it as in actually saying Jesus Christ, goddamn, whatever, which certainly we have him all over videos and stuff from The Apprentice saying both of those. But to me, that my interpretation of that, which is never a great way to begin when you're talking about the Bible, the way I see it is, the way it fits me best, um, is um, using Jesus Christ as a in, in a false prophet kind of way, you know, which he's constantly now using God's name. And not meaning it, Do but you know, saying, I am fighting for you, uh -huh. Christians. Yes. I'm saving Christianity. The, a guy in Iowa, uh, I saw this video yesterday, said Trump, no, I'm sorry. It was his son during Iowa on video said that he single-handedly saved Christianity. <laughs> Donald Trump, the orange porn Which one, boot. the dumb son or the dumber son? <laughs> the dumber. Oh, wow. Eric. <laughs> There you go. Dumbest. <laughs> <laughs> and that's you Permanent saying it. Yeah. <laughs> and you and I are like. <laughs> um, hold on. Also, he has, we know that he has uh, ridiculed evangelical pastors that were laying hands on him and praying for him. He called them hustlers early on. He's made fun of believers. There was a audio recording of him saying these people who believe anything. Yeah. Making fun of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about uh, I, I make fun of a disabled reporter, which is so anti-Jesus, uh, making it telling that all uh, that that immigrants are poisoning the blood of our country, well, this which is, is take the Lord. So you're skipping. Oh, well, right, go ahead and take the Lord. Oh, we're still on this oh, second one. Remember right. the take Sabbath the day to keep it holy. This one's so easy. Sabbath day would be Sunday. Mm -hmm. Where is Trump every Sunday? Golfing. Yes, if he that, worships that, on the golf or, or or uh, trying to figure out how to pay off a porn star. Or cheating on his wife who had a newborn. That's what he does on Sunday. I said this last night to Kim as well, that we have 40 years of videos and newspaper, you know, pictures and clips of Jill, uh, Dr. Biden and Biden going to church. At church, holding mm -hmm. their Bible the right side Before up. Before mm -hmm. he was ever right. running for president. He just does. Yeah, He just did yeah. Yeah. without yeah. Yes. thinking he needed to make a public thing of it yeah. right he doesn't make a show point. me show me trump going to church uh yeah. I, well i did except it for was, a rally for the, no no tear gas it was with tear gas with general milley oh, right. and the church was closed because an it army. had burned out and he held the bible upside Fences down and uh, spray i can paint, show you yes. i can exactly okay, show you that he, he, did, go yeah, he did go to church once i would say that goes back to taking the name of the lord your god in vain he can't go to church because it burns when he goes to the church, he's like, ow, ow. <laughs> the holy it. water starts boiling. I gotta boiling. get out of here. Yeah, they start bubbling. <laughs> <laughs> the cisterns are just bubbling. We gotta get the, him the fuck out of here. Red lights coming through the stained glass. <laughs> Honor your father and mother so that thy days may be long. Honor the father and thy mother. Well, his, okay, so so his dad, uh, uh, okay, all right, here's how he, he dishonored his father. His father was a criminal like him. His father taught him how to do it. But when his dad died, his dad gave everybody, including his sister and everything, money. Trump 
took that will and fought it and switched it and took all the money. That so he was did not, what started the whole fight with his niece, Mary Trump. Yes, he so took he, from her father. Right. And uh, he did not honor he his was, father or, or his father's yeah. wishes in death. So he's Cain not. and Abel. Yes, he is. And he's, he's, who's the one who killed the, uh, maybe that's the story. Help, yeah, Cain and Abel. Yeah, it was, wow. Brothers yeah, that yeah, killed I, Hold on, let me check my pocket. This is literally, <laughs> this is literally Bible. Oh, Look, I gotta is, get you a this pocket is, Bible this next. Is Bible, I was about, <laughs> this is Bible 101. Cain and Abel. Which one of those? And then the other guy, the third guy. No, no, it's just Cain and Abel. You're fine. Yeah, Phil. Cain, Abel, and Phil. Phil was the violent one, right? No. I was an ultra boy. <laughs> and I went to Catholic school. Cain, like, no, Abel. Oh, no wonder you yeah. did. Listen, listen, I was raised by Ken Titus, and I know this one. Also, <laughs> if you know the Beastie Boys, you would also know about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh, okay. Okay, so we've that's the first two we've actually covered that Trump. So Kim, <clears throat> Kim and I talked about this last night as well. Is that, and Grandma agreed with this while well, she was alive and probably still does. Is that this movement, this what's now called evangelical Christian movement, has done more to hurt faith yeah. in general Agreed. than oh, anything yeah. ever before yeah. because now well you know why <laughs> we talk about it every week because well, they're mm -hmm. the ones that are screaming it so loudly marjorie taylor green lauren bobert yeah. are the people who are the most heinously evil trump awful human beings who, hateful who hateful who hurt other people intentionally who bully people who lie who cheat who steal and <clears throat> corruption? Yeah. Bannon, I mean, stole all that wall money. I mean, and then got pardoned by Trump. It's Do like people know all this, of this. Though? You know what I don't understand? And our media sucks. Our media sucks so bad right now. I watched CNN this morning for a little bit, and someone just came out and go, "This economy sucks." It was a right winger. Economy Biden has failed on the economy. Failed, and you know what's weird is that. So there used to be a thing called the fairness doctrine. And I talk about it all the time. If someone said that on the news before, the law was you had to say the other side. Mm -hmm. Well, this news person just sat there and listened. And this guy goes, he screwed up the economy, inflation. And I'm like, I go, answer it. Yeah, answer it. I go, answer it. Answer it because the numbers are, don't show that. Yeah. Gas prices are down a buck 30. Yep. Gas prices are, are across in like 23 states under $3 now. Yep. Uh, we've got uh, the economy's booming, uh, lowest unemployment in 50 years. <clears> we've got uh, we've got uh, the CHIPS Act infrastructure. We've got uh, more jobs getting added all the time. We've got a 5.1% growth rate, which is fucking insane. And this newscaster, so, so, I mean, CNN has become, the, since that, that right winger bought it, it's become such a piece of shit network just really bad it's, and, it's, <clears throat> and i like i like i like some guys on it and i'm just and and they just sit there and go thank you for being on it and i almost feel like there was a meeting where they go hey you don't counter this stuff it's your job is to report what people say not it's to counter it but no your job as a journalist yes. is to lay the facts out yep. and none of them are doing it even i watched joe reed have fucking charlemagne the god yeah. on did you see that He's like, well, you know what, man, when it comes to economic problems, uh, you know, neither Democrats or the Republicans have done anything. I'm like, the fuck are you talking about? All these people that have college debt, J Joe Biden fixed it, you know, for, for especially low income people. What are you talking about? So more people got 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 their insulin for free. How many? Wait, so, and so no black people are, are getting thirty five dollar insulin. What are you talking about? And it was this weird thing that everybody has this. You mean she had a political expert on Charlemagne? Charlemagne the God, yes, the one of the God. political pundits. So here's the problem. Is the problem is this? We have all these pundits on. The news is not the news anymore. The news is just a bunch of assholes like us giving their opinion. And by the way, and I'm and I'm saying <clears throat> I like doing this. It's fun, mm -hmm. but we are sitting. It's weird. We it, it, here's the circle it's become. The news now doesn't report the news. The news reports. Well, what do you think about the polls? Well, the fucking the fucking polls are a bunch of people who still have landlines, which nobody has anymore, unless you're 85 and you're and you're scared that the fucking the Russians are still coming across the border. Yeah. So, so you've got the polls are being taken by people that are literally all right wing. Uh, they're getting, those are getting called. How many young people do you know pick? If I see a weird number, I just block it. I'm like, I don't want to. Yeah. Who the fuck is this? Now, if they have, if somebody comes onto the CNN or whatever, and they start rattling off all this horseshit, and it's not countered, that gets taken as a tacit, as a fact. Is tacit, is tacit the word? Yes. As tacit agreement. Yes. That, they're, that, the, that the person they're speaking to, telling them that fact is going like this. Yeah, well, I agree. Know, so it must be. You and know. it's not those people, those people's fault. It, it's, uh, whether it's right or left, anybody who's a pundit on backing their candidate, 
Mm-hmm. The journalist's job is to stop them yeah. and to go, hey, that's not true. Very few do it. Stephanie Rule steps up. She does. Stephanie Rule will bitch slap a motherfucker. She will, she will just go, stop. Jim stop. Acosta has his moments. Acosta has his moments. Um, but I watched Dick Tapper do it. I watch, you know who's, who's the worst? Brianna Keeler. Brianna Keeler just lets it go. She just lets it. I saw a guy sit there and go, Biden's economy is ruined. There's millions of people coming across the border. She's like, thank you for being on Stephanie the show. Stephanie Rule does a stop, stop, stop. Ste- we yeah, are that's not, not true. doing that on this show. Yeah, you yeah. are not going to lie on this show. Yeah, Stephanie Rule's a badass. Who's the one female on Fox News? There's one progressive liberal, I think. Oh, she's a badass. Oh, they just added this. She, and she, <laughs> she gets we cut off, her name, find her name. She gets cut off, but also there's times when she doesn't get cut off and you just, and I love when they cut to the other people. <laughs> Because yeah, yeah. they're like, I'm getting fired. Shit, shit. You could just see their faces. She's going, you guys are crazy. She Is goes, it Jessica Tarlov? Is that maybe. Oh, maybe. But but I have to say, that was nice of Fox to do that because she's come on yeah. a couple of times and just body slammed Democratic strategist. Them. She's, she's come on a go, co-host of the five. She's like, what are you guys talking about? I go, but that's only one. One of five. One of five. Yeah, exactly. There should be two yeah. and a half. There was somebody said, somebody on Fox said something crazy. They, were, they, they, they reported the 5.1 uh, um, growth numbers. And like, you know, there's it's possible to have too much growth. Biden's created too much growth. <laughs> like. Is what 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 gear shift is that? You cannot drive forward and then throw it in reverse. That's what you just did. Uh, and and anyway, okay. Next next commandment. Uh, I just wanted to go back to that um, <clears throat> that honoring his father and his mother. Um, his father also throughout his life. You know, Trump is a self made billionaire, even though we now know uh, he's not a billionaire uh-huh. and he's not self made. But no, his father gave him the reason and- why he lost his gaming license, Trump was because he was trying to run that Atlantic City casino. And how does how does a casino run? Uh, 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 okay, here's that, here's, here's that happens. People get they come into the casino, they hand over their money, all their money, all their money and then they walk out of the casino. <laughs> That's a hard business. They to give up. you free money. That's that a hard was business. in a yeah, special. Yeah, yeah. Let me say, you, you guys know effects? how casino works. Okay, people go to the casino and they hand over all, all their, their money, money and Thanks. then they leave the casino. <laughs> how do you fuck that up? <laughs> that was zero side effects. Yeah, uh, Amerigedon. I think. Okay, so um, his father t- sent a bag man basically with thirty thousand dollars cash in chips. It, no, bought. Thirty oh, thousand right. dollars in case. chips. That's right. That's right. So he f- money flowed into his baby boy's casino, oh my God. and then the bag man left with the chips, and they got busted. And that's how Trump lost his gaming license and couldn't run a casino yeah, I any longer. This up when he's getting elected, you have to look this up, people. This is insane. So Trump had this casino. He lost the money. Is insane. It's like two point one billion dollars in a casino. The they never could prove it, but the but what the investigators said, people that looked into it said, it looks like they were just taking cash out the back door. Yeah. They, they weren't, they, they, and, and, and that's how, how, how do you bankrupt a casino? I feel like there's a, um, <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. I know. You get Again. free money, free money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know Trump's father's middle name was Christ? <laughs> Are you sure they didn't just call Fred him that? Christ Trump. Like it was like Fred Christ, Fred Christ, <laughs> uh, Fred Christ. <laughs> exactly. That. Yeah, they, I feel like we should. I'm make, just, I, I took my acting classes. In that I, uh, thanks. Yeah, you did. It was. You, did you see so the one. inflection? <laughs> Every word should have a color. Uh, uh, <laughs> orange. Well, I'm getting mocked for my lectures. <laughs> his father pretended to be Swedish for most of his life. They, he and Donald maintained the lie until the 80s. Uh, he thought that his German ancestry would hurt his business with his he Jewish lied tenants. About where he was for. <laughs> um. Anyway, so next one. Next con- commandment that you Trump shall violates. now not murder or kill. Mm-hmm. You're both. Uh, right. I think we okay. need to interview Jeffrey Epstein about this. Oh wait, we can't because he's dead. Okay, I also have a few ideas about this. Okay. Uh, number one, uh, hang Mike Pence. Hang Mike Pence, and he Thou said murder, yeah. in response. Yeah, yeah. Mike Pence got what what was coming to him, what he deserved. Okay. Uh, we have testimony sent, about that. By the way, sent a mob to the Capitol, and they were about they were going to kill Nancy Pelosi. I hang think Mike we Pence. could ask uh, Officer Sicknick. Um, oh Sicknick. wait, we can't. Oh, we can't. He's died. And then after he died, and three other Capitol police officers killed themselves, then he doubled down on that election lie 
and has endangered how many lives? The guy that came to the FBI to shoot it up. Mm-hmm. Um, guy how many judges? FBI, how many judges? How many? How many? How many judges? Clerks. He's doxed several of them. Yeah. So uh, that and then and people get, and showed getting, up at their homes and they're getting death threats constantly. Yes. Please edit that burp out from the. <laughs> no, leave it in. <laughs> <laughs> <I'll turn laughs> <it up. laughs> well, let's talk about uh, those are direct examples, but then you could I got you, more. Okay. I was going to say Tell the, me if the, this the, is the COVID uh oh, how we shit. Shot, now remember oh my god it's it'll In go the away face like a, of, yeah. hey Thou sir, sh- all no. these people are going no, to no, no, die. No, 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 it's going to hurt my campaign. Th- thou yes. shalt no, not I kill can't. a million people, bodies stacked in trucks. No, they're not. Boom. It's going to go away like a miracle. 15, it's 15 cases Elect pretty me, soon. Yeah, uh-huh. and pretty soon it'll be 15. There's only 15 cases. It's going to go away in 15. Close down that pandemic response team. So we could, all right. So I think we could actually say that thou don't shalt not the, kill. Also, he killed repeatedly. don't get the vaccine. Yeah. It's dangerous, even though he had the vaccine. Do you remember how many people uh, when that happened that were, that they, doctors were saying that? people are dying they're on their deathbed in the hospital and they're saying give me the vaccine now and they're saying they it's too late, too late. Yeah. and this asshole had it but never mm-hmm. told people that never told people to get it how many how many maga followers ref- still have refused the vaccine mm-hmm. and died yeah. from it's COVID. so weird to see a politician literally kill a chunk of his base you're yeah. right yeah. You're, yeah. and that was a whole thing we talked about remember right. how many people in red states died mm-hmm. because so you're right he killed them by denying that COVID yes. existed for a long time and then when we had something to help save people told them not to take it he told them not to take told it told them not to wear masks either which yes. would have yeah. saved oh, it's which would have saved them it's your freedom uh also we i would argue that he was the one that really helped spearhead this uh roe v wade overturn and we just had our he, he first claimed it oh, you don't woman you, you die don't really think he actually Texas. said i did that he, he bragged yeah. about it yeah he said i yeah. did it. He uh, owned it a woman named yennefer alvarez estrada glick last week died died in texas uh was pregnant married wanted a child and couldn't get the emergency services so, that yeah, she needed. so he's violated three of the ten commandments and, yeah. and we, we, what are we on three <laughs> yeah. I think we're five out of five. Uh, also, another interesting thing is pr- uh, something else we've forgotten is prior to Trump, um, there had been three federal executions in 60 years. Do you remember that he put 13 people to death in six months of his presidency? Okay. That's not all the people that were put to death. Okay. But do you remember he revved that up? Right. All right. So he's so we're on, we're on four. What's the fourth? Turns out there's a lot of murder. Is this the farting in the elevator at? commandment now? Uh, that was six. We're now on. Wait, 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 wait the first five. Let's go to the first five again. So I want to, I want to just quick recap. He, one more thing about the murder. Just quick he, recap. Doesn't he also threaten all the time? Uh, um, he said Millie needs to be executed. Threaten yeah. what? Death. He threatens. Millie, Millie needs to be executed. General oh, yeah. Millie needs oh, to be right. executed. Yeah. He has a lot of, um, there was a compilation video I saw the other day where he's calling for violence, you know? They need to be roughed up. The protesters, they need to be roughed up. Go ahead and hit them. I'll pay for your defense. I'll, I'll pay for your defense, yeah. Go um, to the first, go, go first. Five. We're halfway through. Let's go to the first five. Let's go to the first five. No other gods before me. Okay. We not that. That's They're all calling him the god. Go ahead, too. You shall not make for yourself an idol. Uh, okay, so he's he is the idol. They made it. They literally made it at CPAC. Go ahead. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Well, we, we know that repeatedly. That he's like, Remember the Sabbath day. Uh, on Sunday, he's actually paying off porn stars and golfing. Honor your father and mother. We've never seen him in church, by the way. Honor your father and father and mother. He basically told, went against every single one of his father's wishes. Go ahead, six. Shall not murder. Shall not murder. We've just established that he's really a ma- mass murderer. Here's my favorite. You shall not commit adultery. <laughs> Talk amongst yourself. Wait, okay, wait, I, wait, I think he gets How a long pass. is this fucking podcast? <laughs> Doesn't he get a pass on that one? <laughs> So shall not can we have him? It's not just adultery. Like if we could add addendums to this one, you know, you we've There's got so the thirteen-year-old girl that said him and Epstein raped. The, uh, she said he, him and Epstein raped them, sued them for it. We've got. Wait, he was married during that time. Right? He was married during okay. that time. Yes, mm-hmm. it also he also has cases where he's been found guilty today they're actually working on how many millions this woman's getting paid that he basically sexually basically molested her in a freaking in a storeroom in a dressing room then we've got um uh, uh stormy daniels who he was sleeping with because his wife had just had a baby was recovering from that and was taking care of her infant so also many, karen mcdougall karen play, mcdougall we have 26 girl. other women that have said he sexually assaulted them so 
uh, I think this one's a, anybody have anybody want to argue this one? Look, the other five, I'll take a minute to debate you. This one, we good? Okay, moving on. In fact, if I was on the other side, if I was a GOP right uh, adultery, be like, uh, uh, <coughs> I, have to, I have to go. Move on. Next one, next, next, uh, next one. This is another <laughs> Show the picture one. of the pageants of him walking the pageants, in. pageants walking in, yes. This is another one. Okay. Thou shalt not steal. Oh my gosh. First of all, he's in a civil fraud case in New York for 380 million that yep. he stole yep. through fraud, tax mm -hmm. fraud uh -huh. and tax evasion. Yep. Charity. Not only that. Oh, uh, that oh my charity. oh my god. He took kids cancer money. Part of it. He is literally here's how much he stole. He is literally and his family are all banned from serving on any board of any charity because they took kids' cancer money yes. and spent it on a portrait of him. That hangs at Mar-a-Lago. He said he was going to give- um, uh, he, Trump uh, University. Trump University, $25 million settlement. He ripped off people left and right. Stole, stole, stole. Documents. He actually said he actually uh, he stole all the classified uh -huh. documents. He also then lied tried about to it. steal an election. Uh, and yeah. then, oh, right, and then democracy. Stop he yes. tried to steal. <laughs> he tried to steal fucking America, the country. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, wow. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. <laughs> According to the Washington Post fact checkers, and also Snopes did this as well. Uh, there's a PolitiFact. Uh, Trump made. 30,573 false or misleading statements during his presidency alone. He lied. I mean, we can go over that. We can go over pretty much everything you said. Lied about Stormy Daniels. Lied about COVID. Lied about uh, bear false witness. Lied basically about lied about E. Country, Jean Carroll. Lied about E. Jean Carroll. Lied about every. He lies about everything. I mean, I mean, I mean, there's like they said. They, he even uh, yesterday went on at a rally and said 88% of people in Iowa polled said I won the election. He made up the number 88. It's like he just, uh, his, his inauguration, everything one, is a lie. This one doesn't fit right here, but the Central Park Five. Yeah. This goes back that. to the threats. Wait, wait, yeah. no, this also goes bear and false witness. Too. He actually said that the Central Park Five needed to be executed. Yes. Needed to be, took out a full took page a, ad in the New York Times. Oh, said shit. that these five black kids, in it, and then DNA came around and it was proved that none yep. of them were there. Mm -hmm. None of them. So okay, good. So we're good. moving on. So far, he's just wait. Just want just a little little update. Uh, so far, Donald Trump to you, Chris uh, Evangelical Christians has violated seven out of seven <laughs> commandments. Go ahead. Multiple examples. Well, for well, each maybe, one. He's gonna, maybe he's gonna. Maybe he's gonna. Maybe he's gonna get a good one. Yeah, multiple examples. Yeah, we didn't just go one time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it wasn't like it wasn't a sidebar where he accidentally stumbled into violating the we're, commandments. We're, we're trunk it. This is like the Cliff Notes version of. <laughs> yeah. We can't. It almost like he plans it on a day planner. Which which commandment do I violate today? day yeah all of them okay go ahead eight uh i was actually looking at something um people don't have the cup while you could look people don't have the capacity to keep track of all of his well that's why we laid out the army getting update the way we did because yeah. at one point you forget like i brought up something to somebody the mail thing that he slowed the mail down during the election yes, yeah. this was funny. And, and people were like oh sh like people literally oh shit i yeah. forgot he did that so it wouldn't count your so your vote showed up late mm -hmm. um he tried to stop. I mean, it, it, it it's daily. Uh, thou shalt not covet. That's all he wants is money. That's all he wants is money. That's all he wants is stuff. Sometimes more specifically, covet your neighbor's wife. Covet, covet your neighbor's, neighbor's like, he house. He, he, yeah. uh, he covets power and authority. I moved on her like a bitch. I went after his wife. She's married, but I when I took her to buy furniture, I went. I moved on her like a bitch. I was going to say, yeah, grab him by the pussy. pussy. Yeah, covet it. Yeah. He covets other dictators' power. He co Yep. He's covet kind of like, uh, he's yeah. a smart man. He's a smart he's a man. Very, I would love to be I like Kim Jong-un. I would love to be like him. Mm -hmm. He's very good. That's all he, he runs his people. People with power and money. It's that That's you know him seeing that military parade and saying, "I want that." It's like mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. And he lies. Uh, like we're now we're back to his lying about all of it. Like uh, he, they said, he he said he was worth three billion dollars. Forbes took him off the list of the top four hundred richest people on the planet, which really pissed him off. He covets this to be on the list of the richest people and lies about it to get there. 
kind of sucks. Uh, this episode. He has, gold, he has gold toilets. Brought to you by our favorite company ever, Harry's Razor. Harry's Razor, the best razors ever. Mm-hmm. The best razors in the world. I gave uh, everyone in our family, I think, Harry's products in their stocking or as a gift for Christmas. I So they have this new razor with the craft handle with the little rubber dot mm-hmm. grippy thingies. Yep. And it's chrome and it's super sweet because I miss the matte black special one right. I'm so mad about that um so i gave my sister the craft handle because i i texted her before christmas and i said um does your husband chris does he use the hairy stuff that i gave him and she goes he that's all he uses yep. Everybody and then she goes and so do i i don't use anything else well i didn't give it to her she i guess tried his like i did with you and then was like I only use this. Yep. So when she opened it, she actually squealed. She was very excited. Can I say something about Harry's? Uh, I think it's the one thing that crosses all boundaries. Like it's the one thing that could unite America. Mm-hmm. If we all go, because by the way, do you use Harry's razors? You give it to the most, look, I could give a Harry's razor to the most ardent right winger and go try this and yes. be like, holy oh, hell, man, this is awesome. <laughs> this we can agree on. We can all agree on Harry's. Harry's. Was a, Let's start there to save America. Harry's, Harry's was Harry's. a trailblazer when they were, what, were they our first advertiser or one yes. of our first? Yep, they were first. Yep. Um, and and at the time it was so unlike anything else available. We were going to CVS, waiting in line. Can somebody get to the aisle? Razor. We need to get aisle, the safe with the razors in and unlocked. Bring your keys yep. and a truck. Twenty eight dollars um, for one razor. Yeah, and so I remember we were like, "What? This is crazy." I used to go to the CVS and get razors, get more blades, and be angry. Yeah, thirty two yeah. bucks for what? We started it? then. We'd buy them at Costco, which was slightly better, but you had to buy a truckload at yeah, a time, yeah, so yeah, it was exactly. expensive anyway. Yeah. Um, the the thing about Harry's too, um, the handles different. The blades are unlike anything you've ever tried. So Five they, blades, they didn't steel. just make it more accessible. They came out with a product that was unlike anything that yeah, still they d- is on the market. They didn't make it cheaper and make a cheaper product. They made a better product and for some reason it's cheaper. But they have their own German factory. That's I think that's helpful. And they make blades that stay sharp longer. Mm-hmm. I oh, used yeah. to use those like a few times and then and have to put a new one on. Yep. And now this one, I, the one that's on my one at home i have one in my travel kit one at home and one at the cabin i think the one that's in my travel kit i've had on there for three weeks at least <laughs> you can easily forget to change them well, that's how shave, good they are you shave a lot of your body every day i shave my face my blade, i don't it's not like i'm the my blade in the sasquatch or something. <laughs> the point I am- is, <laughs> <laughs> look at that hair on your head right there oh my gosh uh, um just to, just to t- just i mean just I mean, just the time you spend shaving your feet is pretty impressive. <laughs> but what I want to say is, is that I use it on my face, and 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 I my my razor has been in the shower maybe two months, mm-hmm. and and so uh, guys, best product. How do we get it? Uh, so you can get the five blade razor. This is in the trial set. Five blade razor, the weighted handle, the foaming shave gel, and the travel cover. You can get that for just three bucks at Harry's dot com slash bombshell. Um. It comes with that foaming shave gel. I highly recommend trying their body wash in Redwood. Love, love, love that. The peppermint face scrub, love. And I'm telling you, if you guys go on their website, this always kind of blows my mind. And I keep waiting for them to do what other companies have done is raise prices. It is the most affordable stuff that we buy yep. and it's big bottle the body wash yep. is that big yep. so you have to try it they have a no risk guarantee uh so don't settle for status quo get blaze your own trail with harry's get started with a 13 dollar trial set for just three dollars at harrys.com slash bombshell that's harrys.com slash b-o-m-b-s-h-e-l-l for your three dollar trial set do you have another answer yeah good uh let's finish the last listen to the last two uh Commandments. Where are we now? Are we number, what number are we at? So he's violated. Okay. No, that was 10. No, we didn't do it. Uh, no, you didn't do no. You just got the eight. No, we just did. 10. Give me nine and 10 then. What are nine and 10? Oh, I just clicked off of it. Well, get back. You know, we didn't. We only covered eight. I specifically was counting. We parted the water, water, everything. We did not go. We came down we from the mountain. Go. You were not counting. Number one was. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good job. And no other gods ball, before like. me. What? No, that guys, when we got, okay. we had, right? Got Number it. two, n- not Money's make an idol for yourself. Okay, that's no, Trump's okay. Tr- right. Name Gold of the toilet. Lord your God in vain. Okay. Sabbath day, pussy. keep it holy. Golf. Rotten hell. Honor father, mother. 
uh, and then do it. Casino. Actually, yeah. Casino, Murder. Right? Um, it's COVID, COVID, Millie, Millie execute, abortion, so right. abortion, right. abortion right. Getting, uh-huh. adultery, <laughs> uh, adultery. Oh, that we don't. Moving on, we don't even know any of these. Steal, montage, steal, right, steal, right. Taxes, false witness, bear false witness, lies about everything, covet. I mean, covet uh-huh. everything. Jealous okay. about every power. I love to. Uh-huh. There's a bit, guys. Go look up George Carlin's bit on the Ten Commandments. It's really funny, and he breaks it down to like. Three. Two, yeah, three. Yeah. But the reality is, it all breaks down to don't be a dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trump so is a true. dick. It all breaks down to don't uh, be a dick. Court just ruled that Michael Cohen cannot hold Trump liable for retaliatory imprisonment. Appeals court has said. Wow, that's interesting, actually. Well, because, because he still committed a crime. Because I'm sorry, dude. Wait, oh, wait. I want. I want to that. Wait, you still, Michael. Co- here's the problem about Michael Cohen, and here's why I hate this guy is a scumbag. Michael Cohen just found a new grift. When he found out that going against Trump was going to make him money, he became that guy. And he keeps saying, oh, you know, I found my family and stuff. Dude, your family was there before and you still crimed like a motherfucker. You just found a new grift. I don't. And when I say, hey, Mr. Trump says, Bubba, shut up, dude. Shut up. You, you've just found a new grift. That's all you did. Uh, I want to talk about a company. Uh, so as much as we want you guys to always have the best companies, I also want to inform you when we find companies that are nightmares on earth. So Ray and I have this amazing Tempur-Pedic bed that we've loved forever. But you got to remember, here's people always say that comedy is so glamorous. Ray and I go on the road and we sleep in beds and hotels that 30,000 people have slept in. So it's never comfortable. Our backs are hurt. So at home, we spend money and we have a nice bed. Came on the other day. It's we not ha- a bed. It's a relationship. It's a relationship. So we, our bed was a little bit, you know, getting a little, a little like, you know, it's, it's, we've had it for 10 years and I'm like, let's get a new bed. I went on the line, looked, read some reviews and I just decided on this company called Ghost Bed, which I don't understand the company, the name. Without me being involved. Yeah. So I did. I was, oh, okay. I'm trying I, to be I the man to take going. care of stuff. It was very but, sweet, but this is a very important couple So I tell decision. her, I go, I go, hey, I just ordered a bed. She goes, don't. What are you doing? We got to go test them out. Wait, 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 That's how I, we found our first relationship. Hey, we walked around. Ashley's home oh, store. Oh, the bank. Bed shopping? Nope. Too hard. Lay, too you got to lay on the bed. We were, literally the th- we were literally the three bears. We, we, we three bears. We did. We we did. Did. Too hard, too soft. Too yes. We did We did that for an hour at Ashley's home, guys. So I ordered the bed and she goes, literally, I order it. I tell her. She goes, no. No, can't do it. I write an email to the company. Guys, uh, got to cancel that immediately. order. I, immediately. Like literally within 10 minutes. Yeah. So uh, the next day I I, I sent, I get an email back. Then Now this is Sunday. I get a ghost bed, by the way. It's, what a shitty company. I get an email back on s- Sunday or Monday. Martin Luther King Day. Yeah. Sorry, your order's always been already been processed. I go, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I go, you shipping a mattress? On Sunday, the second I ordered it, after I, 10 minutes later, and they go, sorry. So, I call customer service. They're like, sorry, sir. The way our policy is, it's already been ordered. You already have a transaction number. You already have this. We can't stop it. I go, it's, I go, all you got to do is call the warehouse and tell them to stop it. They go, sorry, sir. Can't do it. Call the, I, I get to management. This guy named Ryan, this dipshit named Ryan gets on the phone. I got his last name too. He wouldn't give it to me on the phone, but he sent me an email. Uh, <laughs> and he goes, sorry, sir. We already have a FedEx number. So, I go, no, you don't. I go, it's, it's Martin Luther King Day. I bet you don't. So these motherfuckers, not only that, here's how shitty the company Ghostbed is. They added a $249 warranty fee that I didn't ask for. They wow. Here's the price of the bed. They added $250 on top of it. Then they actually added 15 bucks for this, 20 bucks for this, 30 bucks for this. They added up like $350, $400 extra fuck? fees that wasn't on the, that wasn't on the thing. The email they sent me, that's already, so, so I'm getting on the phone with this guy for a half an hour and I'm like, wait, you're telling me that I've, I've, my wife has said, we, we need to go figure it out. We could still buy your company, your bed, but we, my wife wants to check it out. Sorry, sir. It's already on its way. Oh, and I canceled it like within literally 15 minutes to send it back. Guess how much it's going to cost me? 15% of the total price of the bed. So I have bad news the- for you too. Today, uh, we got an email in Titus CWI that said your order has been shipped. Has been shipped. <laughs> yeah, this guy got on it. But it, but wait. But, but I mean today. It's but it's Wednesday. But it's Wednesday, so <laughs> he could have canceled it. Of course. So ghost bed guys, people, do me a favor. Never, ever, 
ever use this company and ghost bed. And then I went, I didn't made the mistake as I I, I didn't check this. Restocking fee. Restocking. Because oh they say God. you can return 15%. it anytime. For you can, no you get to report them to the Better Business you Bureau. Get a yeah. Yeah. You get, oh, it's Florida company. So there is no Better Business in Florida. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Florida. It's, I should have just looked. It's coming in Florida. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> just, so, guy, ghost bed, one of the shittiest companies I have ever dealt with, especially in today, in, 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 in this day and age when every company, you know they are? They are the Mike Pillow of mattresses. <laughs> they, are the, they, are, they, are, they are the they are they are the my pillow of mattresses. If books, you're feeling books. stressed out about ghost bed or any other things, uh you need Next Evo Naturals. <laughs> this is a good company. This By the is way, a great This company. is the company Next Evo because of them I didn't kill myself after the whole ordering dealing with ghost bed. It took my edge down. Feeling <laughs> stress or anxious, <laughs> trouble sleeping, better mm. absorption this product has, faster acting. Um I love this product. I am I am restocked. You guys will be happy to know. I actually had a few nights of really good sleep finally again. Yeah. Um actually fell asleep before he came in the other night. Yeah, the weirdest thing is I get up, I go I usually go, I'm I go do some writing and I come and I come in the bed and the lights out. I'm like, the lights usually she's like wide eyed like <laughs> where were you? Why aren't you here? <laughs> Can they just now make a mattress, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> that just wow yes, yes. CBD. Like, yeah, yeah. Just, oh that'd be good um so i have they so i love their gummies i've told you guys because at night i always crave sugar at night and so that's a new thing and so these gummies actually taste really good and it kind of feel like you had a treat they're the really soft gummies too so in the kitchen i have the the uh extra strength daily wellness cbd gummies and then in my nightstand i have the straight ones because they have melatonin in them and CBD. And so basically the thing about this company is they realized that a lot of CBD companies lied about how much was actually in the product or how much you were actually absorbing. Because there was no product. rules. We need rules, right? There was no rules really. But right. 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 But this company. This company actually tested it in a lab they're actually giving you what they say they're giving you and it absorbs better because of the way that they it, they deliver it to your system um and I, I also have the little packets they're little tiny tear off packets of cbd powder it's tasteless blends right into a smoothie they never know that you're just getting them started for the day when he's about to go drive in traffic i'm like let me make you a oh, smooth yeah. and i'm like yeah, I'm right, 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 the news and then i go hey i'm gonna go to the shop man it's gonna be all right let's go to the studio hey What's up? that's right they I, also I, have, and i'm like babe i feel good she's like uh-huh <laughs> they have capsules if you guys like <laughs> that better ad. but i recommend the gummies <laughs> um <laughs> that, by the way yeah a guy, a guy had shot, like his wife just like yeah. kind of put next to evil and that is a funny ad like this guy's just a psycho, and then and then she just keeps calming him and down just cuts every her, morning. Cuts her, and she's like, "Thanks, next evo." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ding. Um, I'm being drugged. <laughs> their products are proven to absorb four times better than most oil-based products. Also, starts in just ten minutes, and it's the only brand that has conducted human clinical studies to test the value. Uh, Leave oil behind. Start the new year with more effective and faster acting CBD from Next Evo Naturals. Get 25% off any order. That's an awesome deal. Or up to 60% off as a new subscriber if you use code TITUS at nextevo.com. That's 25% off your order or up to 60% if you do a new subscription at nextevo.com with promo code TITUS. Good, co a good company. We have a good company. We have good companies. We we get ads all the time. Ask for them, and I always we, we look at them, and I'm like, nope. And then then you yep. get a company in Next Evo or Harry's good, but a company like Ghostbed would never be on this. Do never ever use a company called Ghostbed. Worst company I've ever dealt with, and that's saying a lot. That is saying a lot. Yeah, actually. yeah. Um, Apple Watch. Did you guys see this? That the imports have been banned. Oh, because of Arnold the blood. Arnold Schwarzenegger just got held in Munich for not declaring a watch. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? what? Yeah, I'll get to that. But oh, is this the Apple? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you I got to get to the chapel. I, I, this, I the watch is very big. It's large watch. What do you mean? I'm holding it. I declare it's a watch. I declared it. Moving on. Can we go now? Uh, he's well. So Apple Watch. The new ones, two of the newer series, violate patents already hold, held in the U.S. They appealed it. Apple appealed it. You know, they have like the best lawyers and the best the everything. Company in the world, really. And it just got, it's being reinstated again. So, the, so it was for a blood oxygen sensor. 
Uh, so basically, it's basically your watch is slowly becoming a medical device. Hey, I've got cancer. Hold on. Beep boop, beep boop. Uh, <laughs> no more cancer. You got cancer. <laughs> God, did you get the Apple Watch with the cancer cure? No, Schwarzenegger's watch was a very nice watch, uh, but he didn't declare it. And so he's facing criminal tax proceedings because he didn't declare the watch. <laughs> Gotta be kidding what, me. Where is this? And they detained him where is this? in Munich. In his hometown. By the way, just just this is this Austrian. Is, by the way, this is hilarious to me. First of all, a couple of reasons. A couple of reasons. This is the dumbest story ever. Schwarzenegger's worth about about half a billion or a billion dollars. Schwarzenegger's made more money off of real estate, and so I'm going to smuggle this through. That's the dumbest <laughs> shit I've ever heard. He was detained for three hours in the airport, <laughs> missed his flight for traveling with a watch that he owns that he may be auctioning at a charity auction tomorrow. So it was in the box because so, he was oh, he wasn't wearing to, it. By the way, he was going to take, he put it in the box. He was going to give it as, hey, buy. This bid is on my Arnold's. actual watch. Who wants to buy yeah. my, the watch that I used to <laughs> tell time with? Every so time wait, you do that, Chaplin wakes up. So like, wait a second. So my question is this How bad did this, in, this customs inspector hate? Terminator, <laughs> that movie, to be like, yeah, we're going to stop him now. Put the watch down. No, you're, you're, you're violating. The Terminator 3. You're smart. violating the law. God. I feel, I feel like Borat. <laughs> We've actually- Not Borat. What's the guy? Uh, uh, no, it was the other guy that uh, so, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen. Funky Sight. Funky Sight. Ali uh, G? No, there was another character he did. Bruno. Bruno, oh, yeah. Bruno. Bruno stopped him, yeah. I loved Ali G. Ali G was awesome, man. That guy is, he's- Brilliant. Sasha Baron Cohen is one of the few people in the world <laughs> that you could literally say you're a genius. And you ever seen him? Have you seen he did I love that his speech? Movie film. Did you see? Uh, did you see the speech he gave about um, fascism yes. and stuff? Yes. Like it's almost. I would put him. I would put him as Peter Sellers, Charlie Chaplin, brilliant. Hmm. Oh God, Trump is now. So he started Birther crap again with Nikki Haley. Nikki, Nikki Haley wasn't born in this country. It's old her, playbook. Uh -huh. Her mom is Indian, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He is now referring to her by her real first name, Nimarata. What an asshole. Is it? This is what I'm talking about. No, no, it's a good Christian. From, it's a good Christian, right? You, you, you be start, kind to the foreigner, for you were once a foreigner in your own be, land. Befriend, befriend the stranger. How are they fucking oh, vermin, just- They are vermin. They are poisoning the blood of America. By the way, my mother is from Scotland, also an immigrant, but she's white, so it's different. Exactly. Mm -hmm. People don't get this. That's exactly Trump's, Trump's it. Trump's fucking mother Doesn't is an matter. immigrant. You just said what the truth is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. White immigrants, Swedish, Norwegian, Scottish, Scottish English. Any, any mm -hmm. kind of British. Um, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Irish, yeah. we're okay but with if you're that brown, too. Boy, we don't want yeah. him to talk a lot. Yeah. But. So people remember this. When you say, yeah, these, these immigrants, Trump's mother, not his grandmother, his mother is an immigrant. So he, and you know what she did when she got here? By giving birth to that fuck, she poisoned the blood of America. Yeah, he he really is did. literally the poison that is in America right now. He misspelled Nimrata as Nimrata with a D. <laughs> He's going to start calling purpose. her Nimrod, Nimrod. Nimrod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, He's now Nimrod. said, see, she's a dumbass yeah. for kissing his ass oh, all this yeah. time. Oh, yes. She should have long ago separated herself from him instead of just saying, we need something new and like doing vague things like that. Here's what he said on True Social. Anyone listening to Nikki Nimrata whacked out speech last night would think that she won the Iowa primary. She didn't. She couldn't even beat a very flawed Ron DeSanctimonious. Still the worst one it's he's the, come it's up it's with. The, it's literally the worst street and name out ever. Of hope. <laughs> DeSanctimonious. Uh, <laughs> he also amplified a post that falsely claimed that she was ineligible to run for president because her parents were not U.S. citizens at the time of her birth. She was born in South Carolina. That's it all wouldn't you need. matter. Y you're born right. here. That's yes, it. That's can, I, exactly can, I, right. can, I, can I just be honest? Uh, uh, I've never, I've said this. Remember when this happened and I kept going, I go, the only way to win against Trump is to every day call out all the yes. shit he did. Go after him. Because he says crazy shit all the yeah. time and he just keeps doubling down on the lie. But if you beat the truth to death every day, eventually, even these dumb people will go, yeah, he kind of did that. He kind of did that. kind of did this. 
the problem is I don't, I still don't understand. The only person that did it was Christy and his numbers started coming up. Christy started kind of rising. Mm -hmm. And because he was like, this guy is unfit. What I don't understand is why I mean, Gavin Newsom does it, but he's a Democrat. But I don't yeah. understand why people just go, the guy tried to end our country. They could have. You could just go every day. You could just play that clip every day. And then, and, you know, I, I they, don't understand. The news seems to be, think I think the news thinks it's going to help ratings. And the news is not, well, the news is now entertainment. Against so. her credit, though, she did this week say in an interview that, or an in answer to a question, I think, that the U.S. has never been a racist country. Well, she also we need to have some black people on the show. She <laughs> couldn't um, state why what the reason for the Civil War was. She avoided that question. Yeah, she did. But also, states' rights. She, mm -hmm. when she was governor of South Carolina, is the one that we liked because she took down the Confederate flag and the Confederate statue. Yeah. So she. So, so why did you take it down if it, if it didn't symbolize racism, racism from a time before? Ding. Oh. oh it, Yay! Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> but wait. So, again, um, when you try to be, isn't there a, a Bible verse? You can't, tr you can't be everything. To, if you try to be everything to everyone, you'll be nothing to nobody. I think that's Nicholas Sparks. Okay. Um, <laughs> it might actually might be an sync song. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I want you to know that, like, so the politicians that we seem to, like, look. Trump has never, ne never tried to be everything to anybody. He has fucking had one line. Even basically, I'm this. I'm your retribution. He's the, me, and he's he's ahead by thirty points. That was how actually these, Bonnie Gillespie. Okay, how come these dumb <laughs> motherfuckers don't understand by this this vague, uh, you know, country's never racist country. Blah blah blah. And they're trying to you're trying to be trying to make everybody like you. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yes if yes, every yes. If, if you try to make everybody like you, nobody will like you. This they, thing makes me insane though. This uh, uh, my sister said it to me once when we were in North Carolina. China, there is no racism <laughs> by the way I'm and the i said <laughs> you're going to have to hang out with some black people yeah yeah because and i mentioned happened, yeah. mahogany specifically will tell you stories about how old she was when it started mm -hmm. when she was first called the n-word mm -hmm. and how often it has happened is since then up, is that still up the first time. The first time. Still up, yeah. It is, Guys, yeah. if you go to Christopher Titus TV, there's a You thing can we, hear Mahogany we did tell called that the story. First, we did a thing called The First Time, which we had some of our friends talk about the first time they were called the N-word, and you should watch it. It is heartbreaking. And this isn't stuff from the 60s. This is, they're, they're telling yeah. stories from yeah. like a couple five years ago. Years ago. We, whenever today! It was, yeah. This yeah. shit from today. Yeah. There's stories today. Racism mm -hmm. doesn't exist. I'm sorry. Oh, that right. It was the 40s when Derek Chauvin was kneeling on a dude's yep. neck for nine minutes. Oh, no. That was a cup. That was but what. What is that? So explain. I mean, I know sir, it, it's like, is it because if you admit that there's racism, then you have to Fix admit it. that there needs to be change. A solution. And if you admit that there needs to be change, then that is going to somehow take from you or hurt you yes. in well, some that's way. That's what they think. But you do okay. understand that this is why Dean Trump's running. Every, okay. So there's this there's this this thread of nightmare running through the right right now. The all these white people believe that the country's being taken from them. And this is an old story. Germany, mm -hmm. Hitler, mm -hmm. Hitler wrote this. Everybody thought Germany, because after the First World War, G Germany was so fucked up economically that he said, the Jews are taken from you. The reason, because the Jews, because right. the Jews have, have a very tight knit community and they work together. You know, if you look at, if you look at every, every, every immigrant group that comes to America, um, uh, they get together, they all, you know, 10 of them live in a house until they all have enough mm -hmm. economic stability mm -hmm. and economic power that they can actually start spreading out. Then they buy stuff and they become rich. Well, these white people who've been told their whole life that they're number one, that they have manifest destiny, that they deserve, that they're, they're, they're from this country, you're mm -hmm. Americans, you get everything. Those people buy giant fucking TVs every year and rims. And for their pickup trucks, and they actually okay, see these other people who are busting their ass, starting a gardening business. These the Hispanics are selling cover, fruit se from selling the cart food, in our selling neighborhood, selling tacos on the which street, which is very convenient during the summer when you're craving a fresh fruit margarita. See, there you go. And so they these the problem is that what these what these pathetic ass white people don't understand is these people came here because they know what hardship is the reason they came to america because because the countries they live in literally were going to kill them that's why they walk a thousand miles to come to this country because they know when they get here americans we don't give a shit who were like oh, what? that's the best taco i've ever had and then you you know i'll buy that we don't give a shit the problem is our education system has not taught these dumbasses 
how to be those people. They don't know about hard work. They don't know about busting their ass. So now they see these immigrants coming in, busting their ass, becoming economically viable and winning. And they're like, well, they're taking it from me. No, motherfucker, you aren't doing anything. Nobody takes yours. No, yep. and not in America. Yeah. I, you know what? You can make yours too. I'm sorry. DF student. Yeah. Busted my ass. You know, I'm having a conversation with my daughter who wants to be a physician. I told her it's 100%, 100% of the time. That's what you have to do. And that's how it works in America. So you can't claim to be an American not and then not bust your ass and figure out how yeah, America works. Yeah, let's put works. how hard you've worked up next to how hard Rosa has worked. Uh, speaking oh, okay. of tacos, I, well, you're right. you're absolutely right. this episode brought to you by Hello Fresh. <laughs> I was like, I was like, like where's this going? <laughs> <laughs> Hello Fresh, amazing company. Uh, fresh ingredients, chef crafted recipes delivered straight to your door. You get farm fresh ingredients. The great thing is too, everything arrives pre-portioned so you don't have food waste. You don't have to shop for it you don't have to think about what you're eating every night which is the bane of my existence and it's easy to cook because it's, it's all laid out easy and it teaches you things um so it's even better this year they have 45 plus recipes that you can choose from every week and so if you have a new year's resolution that you want to not eat i'm cutting out red meat or whatever you can do that you can pick your own recipes they also have um, healthy recipes. You can choose those. Um, you can choose 10 minutes or less. You can choose calorie smart, protein smart. Um, so it helps you. Also, if you're a breakfast skipper, very bad if you want to lose weight. I'll just tell you that. You so need not to only eat. This, but let me say this. Last night we went out to dinner at this restaurant. Yep. This restaurant is a nice restaurant. We've eaten there before. It's fine. We drove home and I go, that restaurant is fine, but it's not great. Everything that you have ever cooked us out of HelloFresh yeah. kicks that restaurant's ass. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. Sorry, I, it's 15-minute recipes, not 10, and but so I've guys, made them in 10. It, again, I, as I always say, it's look food, where you take a bite and you like, then you like look like, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> made this at home? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. We love the egg white bites. Um, I like very the, good. Sa- the sausage ones, mm-hmm. but they also have spinach ones. They're all so good and also good for you to eat in the morning. And so... Not only are you saving time and money and carbon footprint, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you're eating way better food than you would eat otherwise. It, the, the guesswork is gone from it. Um, and they're going to give you free breakfast for life. So go to HelloFresh.com slash Titus Free. Use code Titus Free. You will get that free breakfast for the life of your plan. One breakfast item per box while your subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at hellofresh.com slash Titus Free, promo code Titus Free. We have good company. And their breakfast, they have some good stuff. And they've got uh, pantry items you can add to your box. Well, now. I'm a big egg guy now because I did you some are. research. You are. smells like farts all the time. <laughs> not because That's I'm not farting. Eggs. It's the eggs. It's the eggs. <laughs> I don't fart till I get outside in the car. <laughs> 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 and by the way, if you put your air seat on recirculating, it'll oh clean it up. Oh my gosh. Extra gas. Yeah. The, uh, what? You, re- you put your seat... Not recycling, not no, no. There's a, the runs, air in the seat. It runs through another filter. That's why. Well, that's it. Yeah. So, it, so you don't, don't smell the farts. A f- I also oh my gosh! Farts. I don't fart. I'm kidding. It's a fart filter. I don't. You and I have been together this long. You and I still. Do you never... remember those underwear that came out with the filter in the butt? Was this before you? This was fetus. Yeah. Um. We. F- that it was like a HEPA filter in the ass. <laughs> it was a charcoal. <laughs> it, yes, it was a charcoal filter that f- was supposed to filter out your bad gas. But I thought, how bad is you? What are you eating Maybe that's that what, you have to Trump? buy special <laughs> underwear? Yeah, did He's you, in diapers. No, okay. no, no. Did you did you read that thing? Pull it up about Trump's odor. Pull it up. There's articles. Oh, this was the, this was a the funny weirdest video. shit. Uh, but also, by the way, who? When did when did? Okay, so everybody's trying to invent a new product. I get it. When did underwear become a thing? Like the ball underwear, like they're like it's a pouch for your balls. There's commercials. I'm like, yeah. And then, and then there's this other lady who does this thing, Lumi, where he goes, "Do you stink? Does your body stink? Butt he cracks, hates this feet, commercial. armpits, uh, neck folds." Oh. And I'm like, uh, uh, I'm just, I can't like, huh? <laughs> 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 what about the pajamas that had a flap? I remember <laughs> the flap. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm using like, like this. That company is like such, like it's disgusting. It's like, like how you know what I do? Shower. 
We already solved that problem. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A okay. uh, former Illinois Republican representative tweeted a few weeks ago, I'm genuinely surprised how people close to Trump have not talked about the odor. It's truly something to behold. Wear <laughs> Who a said mask. This? If it was a former Illinois Republican. So then Kensinger said. Um, oh, he oh, he nailed it. He said <laughs> he smells like a combination of, he calls it not good, armpits, ketchup a butt ketchup. and makeup put it all in a blender and bottle it as cologne he said i've been amazed that everyone is just kind of turning learning about this now um that's why maybe that's why um melania is never ever, near him yeah she's always like her f smile runs away when she but the his handshake you've seen his handshake he's got this weird habit where Somebody else, yeah, he yanks like almost like they're pulling away. Like what the f oh god! And then he pulls him in. Like no, we're well, gonna shake. Well, that's a that's I funny. know it's a power move. Yeah, yeah, and he's he's such a dick about it. God, you remember that that, that bulbous thing he did, that obnoxious thing he did when he was walking on those leaders uh, at the G twenty. Oh, and, and he like and he just pushes through oh. and he goes like this. I would have decked him. What I'd have been an like, asshole. God damn it. I, I, but I mean, if in in a public situation with a dude like that, when you just hit him, like dude, dude then what do you Kathy do? Kathy Griffin came out and said that Donald does have his own distinct smell. It's very heavily body odor mixed with scented makeup. Um, so then Ugh. they put it. So Trump smells bad. Started trending on X and Donald stinky Trump. Um, in 1988, Spy Magazine had an entry calling him donald stinky trump at that time um so i guess it's a it's a thing <laughs> but then they put together a video and where also, you can go see people next to him and they're like <laughs> and start leaning away even mm -hmm. melania there was that video yes. of melania like you you know that oh my god i'm gonna throw up what look. must be the check she's getting that exactly. she needs to stay because at one point and what must be the prenup that if she leaves it gets worse like like what like what must like it's interesting. Isn't that the, the And by the way, I feel I feel petty even talking about the man smells weird. I, I do feel petty about it, but except it's him and he's so petty about everything. It's like, okay, I, we can let's be as petty as we can. And, well, I think he's no redeeming qualities. Covered everything else. He just decided to be honest about the body odor thing, but then a bunch of people came out and they were like, yeah, it's maybe that's bad. what will reach the the dumb voters that are voting for him. Smells you weird. Know what? He smells bad. Of course, you know what? My brother smells weird and I like him. Uh, uh, if you want to have a healthier mm, system, this episode brought to you by AG1 oh, because uh, if your body is getting the right things that it needs, you smell good. Not a medical claim, but I have said, seen from experience, you smell better. <laughs> it's true, You're not actually. gassing off nasty crap out <laughs> yes, of your that's pores. That's true. Uh, just, just after have a big party and drink all night. Yeah, yeah, there, there you go. AG1, again, another play, co company that is, uh, first of all, it was invented by a guy who actually had gut problems. So it wasn't a company that just started to well how do we jump into the supplement thing it was a dude who actually wanted to fix his health came up with yeah. the thing worked on it worked on it worked on it finally figured out and ray you know there's some gut stuff and ray it changes her like I, I i take it 15 minutes after i take it remember i we do wheatgrass and i would always feel like really weird and then I, and i felt really good like 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 energized every time i take it i feel like that i do too i took it um I, I'm now I've told you guys, so I've been taking this over a year now, maybe almost a year and a half now. And I have start because I noticed that energy bump. And because I don't I can't take caffeine stuff later in the day, like pre workout, you know, mm -hmm. I now use this as my pre workout, I go and grab a scoop of it, put it in the shaker bottle, put a drop of the vitamin D three K two in it, shake it up, taste great yep. you would not believe how much better it tastes than these kind of things used to taste it does and not look like it tastes it's green drink you think yeah. you think we've all had those drinks in the past where it's like this is I, someone mowed a lawn yeah. and yeah. made a smoothie and with it yeah, yeah. blended this, it up for me this yeah. Total opposite. Tastes phenomenal. And you're getting over 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced ingredients. You're getting prebiotics, probiotics. Uh, you can get rid of your multivitamin. You can stop taking your probiotics. I have cleared out everything that I was taking Clears before. my head up too, I noticed. Sometimes I'll get up, like I have a, like a, depending mm -hmm. on what the weather is, my head will be weird and then I'll mm -hmm. take it and it clears it up. Well, with your gut, better gut health, you won't uh, smell like ketchup and butt. <laughs> okay, so. let's just address this because he brings it up every time. Ladies, 
I was misdiagnosed for years. I had severe diffuse adenomyosis and a very advanced case, which was what was causing the most heinous pain I've ever experienced in my life. I was not going around farting all the time. I actually had, it's kind of like fibroids, but it's in the lining of the uterus. I know all men are disgusted by this, but when you're being misdiagnosed over and over and over and doctors can't figure it out, See if you can find out about diffuse adenomyosis. It's not as common. It is one of the most painful things. But it, but it does. So sometimes I'll get up in the morning and I'll have two or three cups of coffee, and I do notice that my gut gets a little acidic. Yes, yeah. I, uh, I do the AG one, and it goes away. Yes, I love this product. I think this makes a huge difference in my hair, my skin, my nails. Um, so if there's one product that I would recommend to people, if you said I can't buy a thousand different things and I don't want to anyway, I would say you should try this product. Uh, it's AG1. And that's why we have been with them for so long. If you want to take ownership of your health, you can start with AG1. Try AG1 and you will get a free one year supply of vitamin D3 K2, the dropper bottle, and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase exclusively at drinkag1.com slash Titus. That's drinkag1.com slash Titus. Another Check it out. Product. Another great product. I really do see a difference. It's a great product, product and it's the opposite of ghost bed, which is the shittiest company <laughs> I've ever done. Uh, I want to talk about this thing. I'm trying to get this out for the last couple of times and you keep starting ads. People, <laughs> to all you people, to all you people that are out there and you continue to stick in the Trump camp after all you know we've done, after we heard him ask for 11,780 votes, <laughs> uh, after you've heard him uh, say, we need to fight, um, we need to go to the Capitol. Uh, after you no, no, no. We need to go to the Capital! Capital! <laughs> Capital! Gotta go. Um, I don't know why he was doing a Jerry Lewis impression that day. Then, uh, after you've seen him uh, call our soldiers suckers and losers, and you continue to stick with him, I get why. Part of it is like none of us wants to admit we've been conned. I remember years ago I got – I bought a, bo- a VCR at a freaking car wash, and it was three bricks. And I never, I never felt more – like a moron in my life. It, it, at the time, I had one hundred thirty one hundred thirty dollars in the bank, and I spent ninety oh, bucks on man. it, trying thinking I was going to sell it and make some money, and I got ripped off. I felt stupid, and I get it. I get it. Listen, and it, it's not that you feel stupid; it's that that you felt stupid for so long. I mean, since twenty fifteen. So, I get you racist. I get you don't like immigrants. Uh, if you knew that immigrants brought sixty eight billion dollars a year to our co- country in tax revenue, maybe you would change your opinion. If you also understood that America was Explain built. That. So basically, no matter what immigrants do, let's, when they work here, even if it's just, even if they're, let's say, let's say some company, by the way, people always say immigrants, oh, they're working illegally. That's the company though. Yeah, that's the guy that exactly. owns the company that's breaking the, the law. He's hiring them. Yeah, he's yes. hiring them. Yep. Don't hire illegal immigrants. Mm-hmm. That, you want to slow it down? Stop hiring they're people you can pay them. three bucks. Exactly. It's actually Americans you're mad at. Yes. So, so when they come here or they start their own business, they buy equipment. They actually have to pay for rent. They have to go to the store. Immigrants bring $68 billion a year to our economy. Uh, and by the way, they only take, I think it's like $36 billion. I'll look the numbers up exactly. Countrywide. But it's, but it's yes, but it's the, it, it's, they bring in more than they take mm-hmm. every single time. Mm-hmm. Now, you may not believe that. All you got to do is look at the numbers, but I know that's hard. <laughs> so, here's the problem. You guys continue to believe and back this guy. He's quoting Hitler. I can go down the list, and I did it in the Armageddon update. I went down the list of shit. He said it's an endless list, and if I, the Armageddon update would have gone on for another fifteen minutes, and I kept listing shit he did. The problem is, the more you believe him because you want to be right, the more wrong you are. If you would just admit that this guy is one of the worst guys, and that you were wrong, then you know what you get. You get to be right. You get to be right because there is nothing from his bankruptcies to the seven trillion dollar in debt he created. This man is one of the worst people we've ever had. The founding fathers would have ganged up on him and musketed him. <laughs> they would have taken him out. So just so you know, uh, if you admit you're wrong, then you get to be right. That's why I'm very quick to admit when I'm wrong because then I get to be right again. And I love being right. And about Trump, I'm fucking right. I ordered a bottle of champagne for Pastor Kim last night to take to her because she had she had a great thing happen in her life. And I wanted to and the uh, Instacart, it just fell off the map. 
said he was done. He was on his way. Didn't hear from him. An hour goes by. We're leaving for dinner. And I said, well, I guess I'm just not going to be here to get it for her or whatever. Right before we were about to leave, I opened the door and this kid is standing there and I go, oh, hi. And he goes, I am so sorry. Mm. I'm late. And I went, oh, man, it's okay. No Mm. worries. It Mm. got here in time. But I mean, it just took it and diffused it. He just owned that he was right. And we moved on. It was like crazy. Owned that he was wrong. I mean, sorry. Wrong for being late. Yes, owned that he was wrong. And he was instantly right. On top of that, people don't even understand the power in it. Like a few people, isn't it? Isn't it? I felt it. Do you guys notice how calming it is when some guy from the Trump administration comes out and goes, I would like, like Casey, Casey Hutchinson, when she came and go, this guy is Cassidy, Cassidy, Cassidy Hutchin came out and said, uh, this guy is going to kill democracy. He's the worst thing that happened. I remember thinking you worked with him. Uh, when you go through Chris Krebs, Chris Krebs is like, this guy's a psychopath. Bill Barr, he's a loser. He's full of shit. There is no, there was no election fraud. These are all people that Millie came out and goes, I cannot believe I did that. All these people instantly you go i have respect for you because you admitted you were wrong and now we're moving forward yeah. when you when you, you people not keep following this guy the world thinks you're morons like do you understand that do you understand the entire planet thinks you're idiots i understand that your little cult group at the rallies you all get together someone said yesterday it was interesting they said it was a psychologist said if you go to a trump rally it's not a, it's not a political rally it is like a revival it is they said it it's a bunch of people who found this group Mm-hmm. It's a cult. Where they it's belong. Cult. It's a, where they belong. Yes. We're all the same. Where they can believe that JFK is coming back We're from the dead. We're fighting against something where they, together. They can believe that Joe Biden is wearing a mask, that Trump is still running the country. Mm-hmm. Well, if Trump's still running the country, why is he running so hard for president? Why, yeah. is he just, why doesn't he just keep running keep, the country? Keep doing it. By the way, if you were, why would you create all this turmoil and bullshit if you were already running the country? Yeah, how many times can he be president? You would just Isn't be, there... Isn't there a limit on that? Well, if, well, if he's rules, president, uh, rules. If he's president now, you're right. This is his second term. If Trump's mm-hmm. still president, as you believe, mm-hmm. if you believe that Joe Biden is in a mask, oh, this is this this is a funny. This came out yesterday, and I and I I, I, was, I started screaming. I was like I was like, wait a minute. So Trump said yesterday that Joe Biden, all these cases were all set up. It's all a deep state thing set up exactly by Joe Biden, and I was like, okay. Joe Biden set this up. So he set up 91 felonies in four different jurisdictions. Your tax thing goes back how far? Okay, Joe Biden set this up. The guy with dementia that you say can't finish a sentence? Who's so, asleep? So who's asleep all the time? Mm-hmm. Sleepy Joe. Sleepy Joe. So so the dumbest, most uh, d- dementia-ridden president you say we've ever had mm-hmm. has also masterminded a 91 felonies, Jack Smith, and masterminded this entire thing in in southern states, no less. Florida and Georgia that are going to put you in jail? The Joe, biggest, Joe Biden did this. The biggest, most the, complex the, uh, <laughs> uh, conspiracy that no one ever. Can prove, that no one can prove. Yeah. It's so good. And, he stole, yeah. and, and the dementia guy stole an election? That, ha- that, we've, that we've had 61 cases that, that, say, that we, yeah, that Chris Krebs, the guy who was Trump's guy in charge of election security, said it was the safest election ever committed. That guy, the dementia ridden 80 year old president who can't basically walk or talk, as you say, also <laughs> created He's heading and plan- the deep state, created yes. it and planned and put out the worst, most intensive conspiracy that america has ever seen pick one exactly. pick one exactly. pick a side you can't have it they both don't. ways and none of it goes together or makes sense no. or anything no it's- reality so i'll none. say it again people um the only way you get to be right is you have to admit you're wrong first because then you get to join us in america you know americans that actually know that this country was built on immigration that know that this country is actually freedom for all we all get the same rights just because just because you're white doesn't mean you get more rights we all get the same rights. And my, my, my problem with this is that these people who fly the flag, who desecrate the flag with a picture of this fat orange loser on it, still have the balls to say they're patriots and Americans. And they're also saying there's going to be a civil war. If you say there's a civil war, if you, dis- if you disgrace our flag, if you think January 6th was a museum tour, you are not a patriot and you are not an American. You're actually an insurrectionist. Do you get that? Thank you. My name is Christopher Titus. I'm running for city council in North Hollywood. (laughs) (laughs) Speaking of that, next week.
By the way, next Wednesday, we are going to have a local politician on, uh, someone who's running for office. Mm -hmm. A friend of ours, Jeff, and his wife, they're just amazing people. And we are going to have her on to talk about what it's like to run for local government. Because by the way, you want to change this? Look, we have a podcast. I'm a comedian. I'd write jokes about it. We talk about it. But if you want to change something, you know you can just you're by the way, have you seen have you seen Bobert or these other morons that are that are in high positions? Mm-hmm. You're smarter than them. <laughs> you don't why need not? a high school diploma. Yeah, you why can not, just why not run for local government mm-hmm. and just start running stuff and actually maybe we can get some people that really gave a shit, we could change the country. Mm-hmm. So she's gonna be on next week and uh, and we're gonna talk about what it takes to run for local government. Boom. This weekend, guys, uh, tomorrow uh, or tonight, and actually tomorrow, we are going to be in Portsmouth. It's going to be Friday the 19th, Portsmouth Music Hall. Yeah. What state is that in? New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Because <laughs> he said Massachusetts. I was on painkillers from the dentist. Also, Saturday, the Wilbur Theater in Boston. Come out to those. I will be there. My sister will be in Boston. Um, oh, and then. What's the next gig after that? Uh, Denver Comedy Works is coming up. And then, why do you say that? Because you want a brand new show to go to Denver every time we go. I'm about to film. Guys, come out and see uh, Carrie Monsters. We are within a month or month and a half of filming it. And so, it's the best it's ever been. It's a, it's it's literally, I don't say this a lot. It's a monster. It really is. This show is it like, really it just is. goes boom, boom, boom. Like, every sentence has a punchline. It's so beyond ready to film. It's, yeah. It's and ready. So- um, and then, coming up, we have a new thing that we haven't done before. Uh, it's going to be the Barrel of Laughs comedy series, February 16th and 17th. That's in Niagara Falls. Falls, New York. So not Canadian Niagara Falls. Um, we got the short end of that stick here in the United States of America. On the night, right? Really? Why? Because Niagara Falls in Canada is prettier. Oh dear God! Have you really? ever been? No. Oh yeah, it's, it's night and day. So it doesn't even compare. You know, you think with all the stuff we stole, we could have just we could have moved, <laughs> moved the line another twenty feet. Reappropriate. <laughs> yeah, just, just instant free health care. I mean, you're just. <laughs> Then we have Flowing. Austin coming up. Our our one nighter at Hartford, Albany, Syracuse, uh, Richmond, Virginia Beach. Uh, those are all coming up. Also, we're going to be in Falls Church, Virginia, back at the State Theater. We did it once. We love it. Uh, that's right outside of DC. So come to those. And then you actually have a day in San Francisco. Cobbs. At Cobb's coming up. You haven't yep. done that one in a long time. Portland Helium. There's so many great. When is Cobb's? New Mexico. Uh, Cobbs is going to be March 22nd and 23rd. There are so many dates up on the site. Go to ChristopherTitus.com, click on tour, and you'll see all of these awesome dates. Guys, uh, thank you uh, for being here. We've done this show for over a decade now, and I want you to know that uh, that like you guys, people keep subscribing, and it's, it keeps going up. And thank you. We're always going to tell you the truth, uh, even if it hurts. <laughs> It hurts. Especially if it hurts. <laughs> he loves when it hurts. For myself. No. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, I forgot. And now it's time for Aww. Highlander. Oh, I'm not. That oh. Lovely. No, I, <laughs> I get overlooked. Oh. You're lovely, but in a biker way. <laughs> All right. Ladies I'll and gentlemen, before I go, it's time for Highlander's Fun Facts. Highlander's Fun Facts. It's Highlander's Fun Facts. Yeah. I'm finally getting that last note. It took me about to, to, to like six months to even get close to it. Uh, it took you about well, what? I'll see you in post. Six months well, to get that last note? Yeah, and now? I'll see you in post. Good. Well, <laughs> <laughs> suddenly I, he's like I T-Pain. I like <laughs> <T-Pain. laughs> <laughs> heartbreak. <laughs> <laughs> Thou shall not steal. I don't think this is going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Okay. It's going to be very fun. Get in your mic. ESPN mm. was just caught. Oh, no. Submitting fake names to get Emmys for their on-air talent. What and do you mean? And they've been doing it since 1997. What do you mean submitting oh, fake names? Oh, like, no. Wait, wh- but what? Wait, well, hold on, hold on. It's time out, time out. So they're submitting because everybody gets a trophy. Everybody yes. gets an Emmy. So, so if you put extra names and you get extra Emmys. So people that are not uh, eligible for to Emmys. win one. They they're so they're so egotistical and such narcissists that the producers submit s- names that have the same um, initials as the on air talent's name so that they can get the award and then change the name and give it to them and say you you did a good job look you got an Emmy 
for these people. Everyone gets a trophy. Everybody gets a trophy. Everything. And they've been f- bullshitting But also it. then they can claim that? more Emmys. Yes. Do you want to I don't know something? Do you know how I really got really on. I used to race BMX when I was a kid, 10, 11, and 12. I raced BMX. I and you I, were cute as you And I was good at it. I was good at it. Like I won. I won. You know, I won. And then I just got bored of it because I won. I won like my first three races. I won. And um, this before BMX became what it is now, which I would die. Right. So this is when when, when it was like, a, you know. I was just pedaling. Well, you still had a basket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at, the <laughs> of, at the beginning of BMX. And I remember getting the trophy, and I remember as a little kid thinking, "This is so meaningless." Mm-hmm. I never, I never had that sense of like, "Look what I did." Yeah, I'm like, I was, and so um, with my kids at soccer. So I, I can't believe, I can't believe how sad it is to go and put a fake name yep. to get a trophy that you didn't earn. You That's know how pathetic. It's funny That's how pathetic we compared to ourselves. We don't give a shit, no. right? <laughs> if you look, I, it's, I don't know if it's on camera right there, but we have a YouTube award. And I remember you and I were talking about, we were here like literally just like sweeping up mm-hmm. and we were like a hundred subscribe, hundred thousand, whatever subscribers yeah. past it. Yeah. We're like, Hey, aren't we supposed to get a thing or something? <laughs> yeah, I said, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I think there was a certain number. And like, they went, oh, like I, well, I guess we'll look into and it. And you All emailed right. them and they went, oh yeah, and they sent us a thing. And then it sat wrapped in bubble wrap for about six months. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, you know what? Why Should don't we, we just put, put this up? Yeah, <laughs> so there's something. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. If, if you guys, if, listen, if you're, I, you know what I'm doing? You know, you know the best thing I get? And you get this too. Ray, you got to come see Ray. Her new show is so good and it, and it, it talks about taking her mother through cancer, and it's ridiculously funny. You you found a way to make you know. I haven't seen anybody. Big Big Leah does it. A few people do it. You, I do it. You can actually find funny out of pain. Yeah. Um, and we have somebody who come up to Ray after our shows. We'll be signing posters, but and uh, and they they will say, and I call it the bonus. It's better than any trophy. By the way, my mother went through this. I was her caregiver, and thank you for making me laugh about the darkest time in my life. That is the best trophy you can get. Yeah. When people come up and go, my childhood, I thought it was bad. I saw your show, Titus, and I feel so much better now. And that life tragedy thing really helps me through. That and, we hear a lot. Yeah. And and, and that's the trophy. I don't, really, I, don't, I don't want something we, put on the I shelf mean, that you, I got to clean. I, I hear it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, so do me a favor. Don't worry about trophies. Worry about making a difference. For myself, Scream Sanity too, by the way, to the crazies. We have a new election coming up. Scream Sanity. As loud as they scream insanity. For myself, the lovely bombshell Ray and the Highlander. Later. later. They're going to be the only one. <laughs> Wait, you said later. <laughs> what, did you <laughs> just <laughs> steal? <laughs> Why did you steal? I wanted to see what you would do. And he never even noticed. You can't take no, my I, I heard it. I'm like, oh, my, that's my cue. <laughs> later. <laughs> Peace, Peace out. out. Peace <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> they could be the only one. <laughs> <laughs>